The way through this pandemic, everyone knows, is to ensure that as many people as possible get vaccinated. We're up over 80% of eligible Canadians having received uh, both doses of uh, a COVID-19 vaccine, which is great news, but there is more to do. Vaccination is and continues to be a huge priority for us as a government, and that's why uh, we're going to be moving forward on five clear things, commitments we made during this election uh, as our first priorities. Uh, first off, we're going to ensure uh, that the federal public service is vaccinated. There is a clear, clear requirement of vaccination for anyone who works for the federal government. Uh, second, we're going to make sure in the coming weeks uh, that anyone uh, 12 or over, older who wants to get on a plane or a train be fully vaccinated. Third, uh, we're going to uh, work on continuing to establish, we're going to continue work on establishing international proof of vaccination uh, so that uh, Canadians who are fully vaccinated, who want to travel uh, overseas, uh, are fully recognized uh, in their vaccination status uh, when they travel. Uh, fourth, we're going to foot the bill for provinces and territories who have moved forward on proof of vaccination certificates or vaccine passports because we know that encouraging people to get vaccinated and protecting those who have gotten vaccinated uh, is uh, the key way through this pandemic and out of it. And fifth, uh, we're going to keep good on our word to protect our frontline health workers uh, who uh, have stepped up for us these past uh, many, many months and ensure that anyone who harasses or intimidates them uh, is uh, faced with criminal sanctions. On top of that, we have many, many other priorities that we're going to be working on, uh, whether it's completing the uh, child care agreements with the provinces so that uh, $10 a day child care is a reality as soon as possible right across the country, which is both great for families, but also great for the economy and the recovery. Uh, we're going to be moving forward on 10 days paid sick leave uh, for uh, federally regulated areas uh, and work with the provinces to make sure that they're stepping up on that in their jurisdictions as well. We're going to keep uh, making sure that we're uh, moving forward on uh, housing and on supports for people on affordability uh, and growing the economy.